having fun? Yeah. Hi guys, it is Sunday and we're just here in the house. Um, yeah, I forgot to get the stroller out of the trunk and my boyfriend left for work a few hours ago. So me and Liam are in for the day. Are you excited? Yeah. He's over here playing around. Say hi. Hi the peeps. Hi you too. <laughs> he looks like he got caught doing something bad. Um, but yeah, me and Liam are in for the day today. I might go get some coffee, but not anywhere where carrying him around is going to be too much. So we can't go to my favorite coffee shop. Um, but I'll live, you know. Um, yeah. So, how's everybody doing? I know I haven't seen you guys in a while. It's been a minute since I put up my um, vacation video. But, yeah, we're back home. Just getting back into the swing of things. Going back to work. And Liam back, you know, back bouncing around from people's houses. Because <laughs> everybody wants to take them. Um, but, yeah, so everything has been rough. Um, I've been trying to find a job in the city. Right now I work about an hour away from the city um, and it's kind of a pain especially when you have a car that's like dying and we don't really have the money to buy a new car right now. So um, I have been trying to find a job in the city. I've had two interviews and I have one tomorrow on Monday. Wish me luck. But that one's like outside of the city so it's not really... Are you okay? I just gave him his medicine, so he like, you all right? You okay? He like coughs out phlegm as soon as I give him his medicine, which is good because like for babies being sick is horrible because they can't really cough or they can't blow their nose. So it's been a rough journey. Um, but like I was saying, the interview is outside of the city in Horsham. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, if the position pays well, that I'll be able to take it and hopefully just um, save up to get a new car. I don't know. We, I don't know. The whole car situation really stressed me out. And I've been having major anxiety, like just trying to search for a job and worrying about if I get a full-time regular job, nine to five day shift in the city, then I'll definitely have to put the baby in daycare and that's more money. So, you know, I wouldn't take a position in the city unless it was worth it. Um, unless the money was good, unless the hours were great, um, unless they had some kind of like assistance with daycare, um, because it, it's definitely rough. Um, my boyfriend has two jobs, really three, but two jobs. Um, and he works for weeks and weeks and weeks straight. Like yesterday was the first day he had off in two weeks, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of rough because our schedules kind of um, allow us to, you know, either one or the other have the baby. But when we're both working, he goes to a family member's home. Um, but it's just really rough and I really want both of us to find full-time regular jobs because right now I work second shift and my boyfriend works third shift so it's really difficult. I want to be, you know, it's our first child and I really want to be a good mom. I want to be here to help Liam with his homework when that time comes. I want to be able to teach him things and I don't want him to learn that from other people. I want to be a real parent, you know, so it's really stressful and kind of um, upsetting and I know that I found myself kind of slipping back into like not really a depression but overwhelming anxiety um, if you guys have been with the channel for a while you know that I do suffer from depression and anxiety um, when I was younger I think I was around 16 and I started to like feel really sad all the time and be really depressed and um, 
I went to the OBGYN and I found out I have PCOS. One of the symptoms of PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, is depression. Um, I happen to have depression and all of the other PCOS symptoms like hair loss, hair gain, weight gain, um, skin discoloration, and mood swings and things like that. So I had all of those symptoms and that's what led up to me getting gastric bypass surgery. But before getting gastric bypass surgery, I was getting the PCOS kind of treated with medication like metformin, but it wasn't really helping. Um, so in my 20s, after suffering from depression for four or five years, I turned like 21, graduated from college, and depression became depression and anxiety. And when I get anxiety, it's like this overwhelming feeling of just feeling completely overwhelmed, like you can't control anything, and it's just... It's like, it's crazy, like it makes you feel like, I wake up every morning just feeling like worried and wanting to cry, I go to sleep every night just feeling worried and wanting to cry. So um, in 2010 I actually went on anxiety medication. And that was after a period of doing like depression medication. Um, and that was prescribed by my primary care physician. And then I realized that depression wasn't depression. I realized that it was definitely depression and anxiety. So I went to a psychiatrist and I was prescribed Celexa. Um, and uh, these, those videos are up. Like you guys in 2010, like way back in the day, you saw me crying and like, you know, talking about medication, talking about depression, talking about anxiety, you guys saw all that. Um, and it was a really, really rough time for me. But after about, I was able, when I first started the medication, I immediately felt better. Um, I was able to focus more on school and I did really well that semester. I felt really good about everything. And then I hit this point where, the, where it was just like, I feel good do I really need this medication so I stopped and I felt okay like I still had depression symptoms but during that time I had been going to a psychiatrist to get the medication and a psychologist and therapist to talk about my issues and I met this one lady who actually um, learned or taught me how to do breathing exercises when I feel like I'm gonna have like a panic attack or feeling like I'm having overwhelming anxiety and that actually helped me cope like over the years I've learned how to kind of talk myself through the depression but anxiety is a whole nother situation but the breathing exercises during anxiety or high anxiety periods really helped a lot so I stopped taking the medication because I felt like I could handle it now after having a baby I feel like there's one more person for me to take care of. I want to make sure he has the best life that he can have. My boyfriend is the same way. Like he is, you know, he wants to be a great father. It's his first child. He didn't have parents when he grew up. His parents died when he was really young and he was in foster care. And he didn't really have anyone to look up to or anyone that was there to help take care of him or teach him and guide him. So he really wants to be a great parent. And I think that puts a lot of pressure on us. I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. And, um, it's really overwhelming and that's why I feel like I'm having this overwhelming sense of anxiety and I really think that the medication will help again. So um, yesterday, or not yesterday, Friday, I went to a therapist um, in the building that I actually went to in 2010 and 11, um, a few years ago. and. I talked to the therapist and I made appointment an appointment for Tuesday um, to see a psychiatrist and um, get on Celexa again. So I'm really hoping that it'll help because the last time I do remember that I immediately felt better. I immediately felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulder. I wasn't. I didn't have any medication. Um, any symptoms or side effects. Um, one thing I was really worried about back then was I went on the medication, I want to say in June or July, or no, I'm lying to you. I want to say in about August or September of 2010, and I had gastric bypass surgery in March of 2010. So I was worried about weight gain or stopping the weight loss, but I had no symptoms, didn't lose it, didn't gain any weight. I was kept losing weight at a consistent rate after the surgery. Um, I didn't have any mood swings. I didn't feel nauseous, groggy, none of that stuff. I felt great. It helped immediately and I felt amazing. So I'm helping, hoping that it'll help again this time immediately. Um, I actually, the earliest appointment they had was like 
September 29th, which is the last week of September. So um, I had them squeeze me in, which I'm glad they could do. Um, but yeah, it's just, I'm hoping that it'll help, and I'm sure it will, um, because it has helped in the past. I just feel like I've reached a point where I can't breathe myself through it. I can't talk myself through it. I definitely need additional help. So it was, um, it was nice and refreshing to talk to the therapist on Friday. And, you know, if you guys ever feel like you're depressed or have crazy anxiety or if you're having panic attacks, I really encourage you to speak to somebody about it because it does help to speak to someone that is a third party that doesn't know the situation that can kind of give you an outside. Sorry guys, I got cut off. But what I was saying was, um, yeah, if you ever feel like you're at a point where you have this overwhelming anxiety, I would really encourage you to go and speak with a therapist because it does help a lot. Um, you're able to get your feelings out to someone who's a third party that doesn't really know you, doesn't know the situation, and won't judge you. It'll make you feel better. Um, and I think it's really, really important to get your feelings out because you don't want to be in a dark place for a long time. There's too many people out here like Robin Williams. Um, there's just a, a singer who I believe killed herself yesterday. Um, oh my goodness, what's her name? Simone Battle. Um, she was on the X Factor, I believe. And it's it's hard to be in that dark place for a long time I know and I know how sad it is I know how hard it is to try to put a smile on your face when everyone else doesn't really know the situation like the one thing that I remember from you know suffering from depression was when I first kind of discovered that I was depressed I would just cry out of nowhere and I would I wouldn't know like what was wrong or what was going on and I would be in the middle of class in high school just crying and my best friend are in the same class with me and they're looking at me and they're asking me what's wrong and my answer is I don't know because I didn't know why I was depressed I didn't know why I was sad I didn't know why all of a sudden I just had this overwhelming urge to cry and it was really hard so I feel like if you have a problem like that or if you see or feel yourself slipping in some into that kind of depression or if you see someone else um, it definitely, maybe you should reach out to them and see if they want to talk about anything or maybe you yourself should go and speak with a therapist or try to get some help and get on some kind of medication. Um, I'll never forget when I was in graduate school, I, there was a very small group of us, the program was really small, so there was a small group of us, about 12 of us, um, the year that I went in and half of those people were on depression medication like it is more more prevalent than you think it is more people are depressed than you think they are um and it's really really important to get the help that you need because you know people have suicidal thoughts every day and it's really it's scary and it's sad and i just think that it's it's hard I know personally it is hard so if you feel like you have a friend or you need help then you should go get help um, oh. Whew, so sad but that's yeah that's enough of the sad stuff <laughs> um, today I might just go get some coffee with the baby carry him around the corner um, his dad will be home a little bit earlier today he went to work really early so we'll go grocery shopping um, and right now, I have no clue what Liam is doing, but, um, I'm just cooking some chicken because I'm hungry. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna hang out and watch some movies. Oh, let me tell you about the movies that we got yesterday. Um, we got Lucy, um, which I want to watch today. We got... 22 Jump Street, I try, I, I try, like try is the word, I tried to watch 22 Jump Street last night, but it was just so stupid, like the first one was stupid funny, but it was like, well, like I just didn't find it funny at all, so I cut it off, I might try to watch that again today, I watched The Purge, well we watched The Purge Anarchy last night, it was so good, if you haven't seen the first Purge, it's really good, but you don't need to see the first Purge to watch the second Purge, because it really doesn't connect except for literally one character, um, but the Purge Anarchy was really, really good, if you like scary movies, I would recommend that, and um, we watched the James Brown movie, I actually fell asleep on a James Brown movie at the end, because I was tired, it was like midnight, 
But um, we watched the James Brown movie. The part that I saw, which was like three quarters of the movie, was really good. So I recommend that as well. Um, and last night I had a Groupon from like, I literally bought this Groupon. <laughs> yeah, but I bought this Groupon in January. Um, the good thing about living in the city is Philly has great restaurants and there are a lot of new restaurants that have opened up and the way that I've been able to experience all the new restaurants is restaurant week which happens twice a year my favorite time of like restaurants in Philly and Groupon Groupon is fantastic you get like you buy a Groupon for half of the price of the the amount of food that you're gonna eat does that make sense so I bought a Groupon for Max Tavern a $22 Groupon and I got $40 worth of food um, and Max Tavern if you guys don't know I hope you guys watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia I literally have every season on DVD it's the funniest show in the world It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is a really funny comedy based in Philadelphia with Danny DeVito and Charlie Day and Mac something something and I don't know the other girl's name but Mac from the show actually opened up a bar on 2nd and Market here in Philly called Max Tavern um, and they had a Groupon a couple of months ago. And we went there, but we went on, like, Memorial Day. Or no. Maybe it was... It was like a holiday. Maybe we went on Father's Day. And one of the stipulations was you couldn't use the Groupon on Father's Day. So we went on Father's Day, had a good dinner, and then... Because we didn't have a baby, yay. And then um, I realized that the Groupon, yesterday I realized the Groupon expires on September 10th, which is like a couple days from now. So we went yesterday for dinner. Um, I got this really good burger. It was like a prime rib burger with like barbecue pulled pork on it and like a habanero spicy mayo aioli type thing. And it was delicious. And Lenny got like this play on like the Philly cheesesteak. And we got Long Island iced teas and some other teas, some water. Long Island's were fantastic. It is more of a sports bar place, but they do have a dining area where you can sit down and dine with your family. So we took the baby. Um, if it was just a bar, I wouldn't have taken the baby, but we definitely took the baby. And he was just hanging out and kind of sleepy. So, But it was so good. It was delicious. And then we realized across the street from there, they had just opened up a new uh, wine store. So they had wine tastings, but by the time we got out of the Max Tavern, we were so full that we decided not to do the wine tastings. So we came home, we went to Wine Spear, we bought a bottle of wine, and um, and then we just went home and watched our movies and kind of hung out for the rest of the night. So it was really nice because my boyfriend is not ever off on the weekends, so we had a really good night, a really good day. Um, and yeah, now we're here together again. Uh, not really because he's at work. But tonight we'll probably do the same thing. Just hang out and watch some movies. Um, but yeah, we had a good day. And today is going to be a pretty chill day. You know, that's how it normally is on Sundays. We just hang out and kind of do what we need to do. Um, so I'm going to find some coffee somewhere. And I am going to deep condition my hair. Watch a movie. Probably Lucy and uh, yeah just hang out so i hope you guys have a great sunday and yeah i'll talk to you guys later bye yeah so i'm taking a shower right now and it has been this kind of day hey guys we're finally watching lucy and liam is getting a diaper change and be a crazy little baby right <laughs> crazy baby yeah. I'm thinking about getting a um a starter spoon for him because he like grabs the spoon all the time and wants to feed himself. So I'm thinking about the starter spoon, but yeah, we just wanted to come on here and say goodnight. Say goodnight YouTube. I wanna feed myself now. <laughs> He's gonna be nine months on the twenty fifth. I'm so excited, but yeah. Just wanna say goodnight. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Hi, friends. It's Jay. So, I'm actually on my way to a doctor's appointment, but I just found parking. And I thought this was so funny. Liam is sleeping in the back seat, and I totally feel like Felipe and Whitney. You know how they always wait for Olivia to... <laughs> They always wait for Olivia to finish her nap, where she's going to be a cranky baby. That's how Liam is. He's just hanging out. I just dropped my boyfriend off at work um, a few minutes ago and now I'm in Center City now on Chestnut Street. 
I'm about to go to this doctor's appointment. But I just thought that was so funny that Liam was in the background sleeping and I didn't want to wake him. I'm about um, about 20 minutes early, but I wanted to wait a little bit, um, probably in the 10 or 15 minutes now because I don't want to have to pay for parking when I'm sitting in the car. So might as well wait until it's a little bit closer to my appointment then get him out and we could just walk right up the street and that way I'll only have to pay for like a half hour or 45 minutes of parking instead of like an hour or so. Um, but yeah, I took a um, half day at work today because my throat is on fire. Um, so yeah, my throat is killing me. My chest is like, I have this crazy cough and my chest is hurting. So um, I took a sick day and pretty much spent the entire morning in bed. So yeah, now we're at the doctor's. Um, and we are actually at the psychiatrist because I am going to talk to him about um, anti-anxiety medication. So, yeah, took that step <laughs> because I really need it. It's like it's really getting bad. So, um, yeah, if you need anti-anxiety medication or depression medication, if you're ever feeling sad or like overwhelmed, then I would recommend it because I know it has helped me in the past and I think it'll help again. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. Um, besides that, I've lost a lot of weight. Well, not a lot of weight, I guess. I've lost like 10 pounds since the last time I've come to you guys and talked about weight. Um, so I feel like it's mostly due to stress, to tell you the truth. Like I'm eating less um, and eating, focusing more on protein. Um, but at the same time, I'm not like eating so Super good. I could be doing a lot better, and I'm not really exercising either. Besides running around um, after Liam, because he is crawling and he is getting around quickly. Um, but yeah, I've lost about 10 pounds since the beginning of August, and I'm hoping to lose another 10 pounds before the end of September. Um, so it kind of like made me a little more focused and made me want to kind of get back on track. So um, yeah, we're doing that and um, I just got another call I had an interview yesterday I don't know if I told you guys that um, yesterday was Monday I had an interview yesterday over the phone the lady was really nice she gave me some really good advice um, the position wasn't for me but we discussed that and she was talking about trying to find something that would fit my qualifications a little better in research um, so that was nice but she was really nice to talk to she was a very sweet lady um, but I got a call yesterday to schedule an interview for another research position, which is nice. And it's an in-person interview and not an over-the-phone interview, which is nice. So that's kind of promising. Um, and that I scheduled for next Tuesday. So I'll definitely let you guys know how that goes. Um, but yeah, I've been thinking about like vlogs and stuff like that. And I really think maybe I'll just try to focus on uploading one vlog, um, every week and then that way it won't be kind of redundant vlogs over and over again um, because I work full time and I have the baby and you know not that much exciting things are happening right now but one vlog a week is what I'm going to stick to so keep me accountable <laughs> look at these two crazy kids the cat is trying to get out of the crib they were just sitting there playing with each other and now they're like having a little fight in between the bars they're ridiculous <laughs> but um yeah we're finally back home after the doctors um i did get a prescription for selexa which is an anti-anxiety medication um and i filled it i'm going to take the first one tomorrow um when i took it back in 2010 it helped tremendously and i feel like it helped immediately kind of after a couple of days um so yeah Sorry, I'm just sweating a little bit. I cleaned up a little bit because my brother is coming over to see the baby. And, um, yeah. I hope everybody's having a good day. And I'll come see you guys on the next vlog. Alright, bye.